Okay guys, I have trouble with my 3D printer where I think I have two problems and the one was uh, causing the other to fail. The heating element goes into my hot end and it's been uh, abused a lot. I think the temp control the temp sensor, <laughs> it's so crusty. It's probably still working, but I get a, a wrong reading. I'm just gonna ex exchange the temp uh, sensor. It has been working for hours and hours and hours, and it costs little to nothing. And I have still one in spare. I have it laying around for years, so I'm probably better gonna use it. And because of that uh, temperature uh, failing, I think my hot end is blocked with the breeze, with I don't know. And now I want to, I kind of want to clean it. I'm gonna screw that piece of plastic off. Jesus, <laughs> this is all so dirty and probably this PTFE is totally used up. It has been heated thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So probably I think I best order such new head. I can drop it in a thinner or acetone or whatever and then let it dissolve. This is 0.3 millimeters. Yeah, you, you can't see that at all. And you can't find them everywhere. And the whole idea is to try to keep the 3D print experience as cheap as possible. Because if, it, if it's gonna start to be expensive, yeah, then you better just buy the stuff that you print. So. So yeah, I think this one is has come to his end. <laughs> it's totally black. Normally, it's it's a nice golden color, copper col color. <laughs> this is totally blacked out because of plastic residues. They melt onto it, and it's a 100k ohm thermistor. And you can test it at the room temperature, 25 degrees. And you should get 100k ohm. Can you see this? I hope you can see this. I'm coming out at 81. I'll just measure it without my skin touching it. Now it's at 70. So my skin is giving it some resistance. 73. I'm gonna touch it with my finger so it heats up. You're now at 768. When I heat it up a little bit, it drops. I let go and it goes back up. It's quite sensitive. I'm gonna try to find my spare one. It's saying exactly the same. So that thermistor wasn't broken. I'm heating it up with my finger now and getting less resistance. I'll let it go. We stopped at 66. But is this more stable or what? I don't think that resistor that thermistor was broken. From 66 to 78. I'm heating it up. It's 
not broken, it's doing exactly the same thing. Crap. I was hoping that was a problem. From 66 to 78. 78 is room temperature. The thermistor is not the problem. Although I'm gonna change it. I had to try. And I got it loose, but it cracked. So now I have to order another one. Oh, there is still something stuck in here. Jeez, this is so crusty. PTV is it's a it's a red PTV and it's still intact. So basically I can still use that but yeah this one is really stuck. I'm gonna put this white spirit or acetone or thinner or whatever and I hope it melts out I have a cap of a spray bottle uh, <laughs> there, is a, there is a hole in it some have a breathing hole so nope I'm not gonna use that one got one with no hole and then we have self-guided thinner which is very aggressive Put some in the halfway in the cap, and I place this one in here, and I let it eat out the plastic. Now it's a waiting game, a couple of days, maybe even a week. I just let it rest. 